WBKO News takes you to the action with big plays, scores, and more. Football Friday night starts now. Get the kettle corn out, tune up the band, and turn on the lights because it's finally time for Football Friday Nights. Football season is finally here. Welcome to our first episode of Football Friday Night of the 2023 season. I'm Kaden Gaylor Day. And I'm Lauren Floyd. Kaden, you know, this is my favorite time of the year, so you know I had to bring out the brown leather dress out for week one because I'm sure by the time we get to week 10 we'll all be turning into a football ourselves with all the coverage but we love it so let's jump right into the action up first at Jim Ross Field in the Jay Allen Builders Bowl we have the Franklin Simpson Wildcats and the Christian County Colonels these two teams came out with all the energy to kick off the season unfortunately you have to get those first game jitters out as Franklin Simpson fumbles on the kickoff to start the game giving the Colonels offense time to shine. But Titus Brown comes in with a big time sack to put on the defensive pressure, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with for this Wildcats defense this season. But Christian County's quarterback, Jordan Miles, looks to pass, but keeps it as he takes off on the outside for the first score of the game to take a 6-0 lead for Christian County. But the Wildcats quickly respond as Gavin Dickerson easily takes this one into the end zone from two yards out to take a 7-6 lead. Then with the clock winding down right before halftime, Lane Alford finds his way through the gaps as Franklin Simpson led 21 to 14 at the half. And in my opinion, this game should have been a blowout, but we're just getting started. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far from this Wildcats squad as they start this season with a 40 to 28 win over Christian County. 